everyone be seated. We have here today a witness who will testify to Michael Corleone's rule over a crime empire that controls all the gambling in this country. He can corroborate enough charges to recommend a count of perjury against Michael Corleone. Senator. Thank you, Mr. Pentangeli. Mr. Pentangeli, were you a member of the Corleone family? Did you serve under Vito Corleone, also known as the Godfather? I never know no Godfather. I got my own family, Senator. Mr. Pentangeli, you are contradicting a sworn statement. I ask you again, were you a member of a crime organization headed by Michael Corleone? I don't know nothing about that. Oh, I was in the, uh, in the olive oil business with his father, but that was a long time ago. We have an affidavit that you murdered on the orders of Michael Corleone. The FBI guy promised me a deal, so I made up a lot of stuff about Michael because that's what they wanted. And I kept saying, Michael Corleone did this, and uh, Michael, Michael Corleone did that. But it was all lies. I'm going to find out what the hell happened here. Senator! Senator! I move to adjourn this committee. The committee owes this man an apology. The witness is now excused. Senator Geary looked like he was about Christ, to shit his pants Can you pants imagine if we didn't get here in time? Thank God you did. I could see it in him. Frank was going to talk, <laughs> but it's over now. You should go ahead and speak with Michael. He's in the defense chambers. I'm tired of TV dinners. I want a home-cooked like meal for a change. And, and what the hell? Just like that, in front of everyone. I told you he would. I don't get you, people. Congratulations, Michael. The plan worked. It's over. It's not over. Not yet. Pat, where's Henry Mitchell? I don't know. The CIA can't find him. Think he's turned, working for another family. Mitchell's like a bad penny. He'll turn up. You better hope he doesn't. And why not? Mitchell was working with Roth. Anything Roth knows. Mitchell knows about us, about you. Christ, he could sell us out. Or what if he goes public about Cuba? What if he talks? He won't talk. I want him gone. I want them all gone. Michael. I mean it, Tom. Mitchell, the Almeidas, everyone. They'll keep coming for us, for our families. You've won. Do you have to wipe everyone out? I don't feel I have to wipe everyone out. Just my enemies, that's all. I'm leaving for Vegas soon, so I'll be brief. Do you understand what I'm saying? Of course. My family will always support you. Good. All of them, Dominic. Every family, every racket, every made man. And Henry Mitchell, too. He's probably a bigger threat than you realize. No, I know how dangerous he can be. Okay, Michael, leave it to me. Thank you. This is a critical moment for you and for your family. What you do now will make history. Relax, Senator. You played your part perfectly. Don't tell me to relax. I'll do business with you. That doesn't mean I have to accept this dishonest way you pose yourself. Tell me what you know about Mitchell. Where he might be hiding. Anything. I told you everything I know. Mitchell's seeking protection with another family. If he feeds them information, they'll be able to strike wherever it hurts you the most. And if he spills his guts to the papers, well then, just pack it up. We're done for. And, uh, I hope we can count on you to cover this up, Senator. The ball's already rolling. That little plot the two of you cooked up in Cuba? The mob and the CIA in bed together? It's a disgrace to the country. It'd bring down the administration. Now, everything on Mitchell is already being covered up at the highest levels. A disgrace? 
We're both part of the same hypocrisy, Senator. History might redeem us. Oh, right. I'm sure 40 years from now, nobody will even bat an eyelash that the CIA and the Mafia conspired to kill a foreign leader. Like it's just par for the course. Hell no. Mark my words. No one will ever find out about this. This is it, Tom. War. We don't let up until we're on top. You could win this, Dominic. But you have to play it right. Especially after the investigation. Any move you make is bound to draw attention. To pull this off, you'll have to have a plan. What's gonna happen to Fredo? I'm worried about him. He's staying at Michael's compound in Lake Tahoe. He's being watched, protected, really. Michael doesn't want anything to happen to him. Not now, not while we're at war. I suppose Pentangeli's headed to the federal pen now. He gave up immunity when he perjured himself. He'll have the rest of his life to think about this. Frank could still fix his mistake, though. And if he does, all will be forgiven. I keep stepping on my foot, man. Why don't you give me some space?